This man is still hammering. Welcome back to more Ruby. Happy Friday. Mm. Yeah. I can't wait to hear this song in full. Live stream on the music too. Chapter what? Four? <laughs> Lessons learned. We saw this in World of Remnant. Whoa, Coco! All right. Good luck, you two. Interesting. Oh, this is a matchup for sure, for sure. I'm hype. I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm hype. Let's go. Damn, I got a little bit of everything. Hey. Love the outfit, kid. I'll try not to get blood on it. <laughs> I can't promise you'll leave without a scratch. I won't be the one bleeding. Oh, I like her. Yeah! Bro, it's like character intros in a fight. I like that. Whoa. Whoa. Here goes the gun! Let me calm down a little bit. Nope. Okay! Smart! <laughs> Gosh! Whoa! Smart! Smart! He's good! Yeah, but where's the girl? Sit down, sit down. Oh, Mercury is a whoa. Everyone comes out. Whoa, my God. Bro, what? Ooh. Smart, separate them. Damn! Yo, this animation's crazy! Uh oh. Jeez! Bro! Bro, why he's throwing on him? Get up! Oh, thank God. Oh, it's over. Oh, he's about to get one shot. Come on, Coco. I take it back. I don't like her. Not the Balenciagas! Oh no! What? What the? Whoa! Wait! Ooh! Damn! Gonna be freaking out of Bro, this is a straight up mismatch. And with an amazing upset, Emerald and Mercury are victorious. Uh, Coco. What? Damn. She was behind them the whole time. Bro. 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 I know Cinder is controlling the matches and y'all made it known in the comments. Thank you so much. My audio is a little bit too loud. That was so one-sided. Completely one-sided. 
This person is still hammering above me. Bro, that fight was fire! You're leaving? Yes. I was merely needed to oversee the transport of additional units to Vale. Hmm? Our last shipment was lost to an ambush. I believe you had a run in with its cargo, actually. It's fortunate those paladins were still in the prototype stage. Hmm? Otherwise, your team may not have fared so well. Weiss. Wait, was this the whole... Was this the situation with Penny? No. You've done... Well. Out here, on your own. You should be proud. I'll be honest, it was quite amusing seeing Father's face the day you left for Beacon. I can't wait to show him what I've learned. Oh? Then what do you think you've learned? Hmm. What do you mean? I'm getting better and better with my glyphs. I've even started time dilation. And what of your summoning? I... Hmm? You know I can't. Don't be ridiculous. Every Shni has the ability to summon. We have for generations. I've tried! It's just... It's the one thing I'm having trouble with. It's okay. We Shnees are unique. Unlike many, our semblance is hereditary. But that doesn't mean that it will come easily. Your semblance is like a muscle. The more you practice with it, the stronger it will become. But if you only focus on one aspect of it, if you fail to test the limits of what you think is possible... Hello? Then you'll never truly grow. Okay! You're nothing but talk, kid. You can do it, Ruby! <laughs> Soaring Ninja wins! Total Annihilation! Damn. And by the way, don't ever call me old. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, family Where time. Was I? You were telling us about your last mission! Right, right. I'd come across a small village in the swamps west of Mistral. Right off the bat, I knew something wasn't right. What were you doing there? I needed information. Tired from battling Grimm along the way, I decided to start my search at the town's inn. The place was crawling with lowlifes and thugs, even a few huntsmen that I could only assume had been hired by less than reputable people for less than respectable jobs. Mm. And that's when it happened. What happened? I was defeated by the mere sight of the innkeeper's skirt length. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, you know, no, but... <laughs> you are the worst! You mean to tell me he beat Yang while telling a story? This dude is OP. <laughs> <laughs> Best two out of three. So, Uncle Crow, did you get in trouble with Ozpin? Nah, uh, me and Oz go way back. We're cool. <laughs> Cool for an old guy. Not funny. <laughs> hey, so what are you doing here anyway? I thought Dad said you'd be away on a mission for like ever. Brother in law. Well, a professional huntsman like myself is expected to get results as soon as possible. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> We're pretty much pros too. Oh, really? Psst. Yeah, <laughs> read the news sometime. We totally say veil vale while you were gone. Funny. Because I heard Vale suffered a grim attack after you almost managed to stop a train. Uh-oh. But they don't give out medals for almost. They Damn! And they're called silver! Well, we helped take down Roman Torchwick. He's locked up in Ironwood's ship and crimes been down ever since. That's basically a bounty mission. Sure, you may be acting like huntresses, but you're not thinking like one. You really think four girls and their friends could end all crime in a kingdom? I mean, I did until you said that. Violence hasn't dropped since Roman got nabbed. It stopped. Completely. No White Fang activity anywhere around the city. Mm. You cut off the head of a King Taijitu, but now the second head's calling the shots. That's what Ironwood can't get through that thick metal head of his. You know the general? Hey, I know everybody to some extent. Remember, you're talking to a member of the coolest team to ever graduate Beacon. <sighs> team Stark. That's when I met your parents. 
We were pretty well known back in the day. Is that Tai Yang in the picture too? Hey. Well known for crummy fashion sense. Hey, we looked good. And I have a number of inappropriate stories that'll back that up. I don't like that. But I'll save those for when you're older. <laughs> oh, gross. Anyway, I'm too old to be hanging out with a bunch of kids. You're gonna cramp my style. Oh, God, Yang. Look, just remember that you've still got a long way to go. And don't think for a second that graduating means you're done. Mm -hmm. Every day out there is worth a week in this place. Mm. You two, you're gonna go far. But only if you keep learning. If you never stop moving forward. Mm! Tell them! That's what I say every day! Excellent form. Now think to your fallen foes, the ones that forced you to push yourself past who you were and become who you are now. Mm. They hit with the deep things. And watch as they come to your mm. side. He's practicing summoning. I okay. can't. Stop doubting yourself. I'm trying. If this is what you call trying, then you have no hope of winning the tournament, let alone succeeding as a huntress. Oh, wow. Why don't you just move back home? I'm sure father will give you a nice job as a receptionist. Ooh. I don't need his charity. But you do need his money. Oh! <laughs> damn! Damn! I see what she's trying to do, but damn! How did you know about that? Lucky guess. I may have been in a similar situation when I joined the military. Ooh. So what have you done this time? Well, that's the thing. I'm really not sure. I went to pay for lunch the other day, but my card didn't work. How embarrassing. I know! <laughs> well, it was. Why would he cut me off like that? Perhaps so you'd stop avoiding him and call home. Yeah, why are you avoiding him? Emotions can grant you strength, but you must never let them overpower you. <laughs> It sounds to me like you have two choices in front of you. You can either call him, beg for his money back, and explain once more why you want to study at Beacon over Atlas. Or you could continue to explore Remnant, discovering more about the world and, honestly, more about yourself. Bro! Bro! The fact that it's airy season two? Oh, I, I resonate with this. I, what? Words. I'm flabbergasted. F L A B B E R G A S T E D. Bro, if I got it right, oh man. It's time for me to go. She dropping knowledge. It was really good to see you, Winter. Until next time, sister. Weiss, I yeah! Weiss is learning. She's too hard on herself, though. I know why, though. Whoa. Weiss, be gentle. You don't have to be perfect. Just be yourself. Answer it. Answer it. Answer it. You gotta do it. Make a choice. Okay, 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 all right. In due time. Um, I just realized something in that photo. I'm just making speculations. It's part of the fun with doing this whole series. I'm not being completely serious with this. But I might be serious with this question. In this photo, we have Crow, Raven, I am assuming that's Tai Yang, maybe? Is that Summer Rose? Y'all about to get mad in the comments. No spoilers, let's just have fun with it. But that's what I'm calling it right now. Oh, this shift. Chapter five, never miss a beat. Is this Cardin? Penny, oh God. Here we go. 
Bro, I'm sorry, but when you go up against Penny and you realize she can do this, go home. She's throwing knives! I'm shouting, let me calm it down. Oh, oh she, she's having fun, but we're on the clock. Oh, it's doubles, it's doubles. But they're part of Team Carter, right? victory goes to Penny and Seattle <laughs> of Atlas. Thank you for a wonderful time. <laughs> Polite. <laughs> Go, Penny! Where's it going? Penny! Ruby! <laughs> <laughs> Ruby, this is my teammate, Ciel Soleil. Hi, I'm Ruby. Ruby Rose, 15, hails from Patch, leader of Team Ruby. Status, questionable. Is she an answer too? So, Penny, you two were incredible out there. How do you keep control of all those swords? It's so cool. Penny, I believe it is best if we move on to our next location. I think she's an android. Could we have just a minute to talk? <laughs> so is she your friend or? Well, in a way, she's like Blake. But if Blake was ordered to spend time with you, oh, so wise. Precisely. <laughs> what you, know about, you know, beep boop bop does not compute. Oh no, <laughs> General Ironwood doesn't really want anyone to know. There was an incident with a magnet, but I was able to play it off. Bro, this hammering. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ruby. There's something I've been wanting to talk to you about. Mm. I want to stay at Beacon. Penny, they'll never let you do that. I know, but I have a plan. It's been precisely one minute, ma'am. I'll talk to you more soon, Ruby. Oh, adorable! Our next match will begin in 15 minutes. Oh my gosh, that's right, it's time for... Well, now it's our turn. Just remember to keep proper form. All right. All right. You're from Atlas. What can we expect? Well, seeing as their kingdom, academy, and armed forces are all merged as one, I think we can expect strict so militant Atlas. fighters with advanced technology and carefully rehearsed strategy. So who's the one up? Uh oh. Or whatever they are. <laughs> <laughs> you wife's me, right? The heiress. I am. I take you're pretty good with us then. I do my best. Yeah, my dad was good too. Owned a little dust shop of his own. Till your father's company ran him out of business. Uh oh! Uh oh! I'm sorry to hear that. Sure you are. Hey, why don't you? Hey, why don't you? That's what you sound like. <laughs> uh. Hey, where'd you get your hair extensions? This is just my normal hair. Ooh, really? Yeah. Is that a problem? You should try rollerblading sometime. It's super fun. Yo, she's <laughs> Bro, she is playing mind games like crazy. It'd probably take you a while, though, since you're so, you know, top heavy. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is about to be great. Oh wow! It's 
Does he have Mario star power? You should cool off. Get it? <laughs> because you're angry. Oh my god. Uh oh. That all that money can't buy you skill. Damn! Now I'm about to get up! Sip it, sip it, and me pop pop! Young Flint has just activated his semblance, and quite a remarkable one at that. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on Flint Cole's Killer Quartet! Yes! I'm shouting again, my throat's gonna be... <laughs> I cannot wait for the music live stream! Ooh, flashy eyes! You know, you're actually kind of pretty when you're angry. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up! Uh-oh. I wasn't trying to say you should go That's on a switch. I was saying you really need to go on a diet. That's it! You bet. Wow! 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 <laughs> what? Why? It appears we have a double knockout on our No! It looks as though Miss Schnee's aura has been completely depleted. Whoa! She sacrificed herself to take out Flint. What just happened to my resolution? Hello? Wait a minute. What's this? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Flint Cole remains standing. So Weiss is gone. You did it, Flint. Don't worry about her. She's easy, but kind of annoying. Ooh. I feel like, wait. And you wouldn't like her when she's upset. Oh boy! Yo, Neon, go! I burn! <laughs> Come on, Yang! Well done. Never miss a beat. Never miss a beat. Never miss a. Never miss a beat. You <gasps> but you missed a beat. Beat. You missed a beat. Sure, that was proper form. Oh, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> we lost? We lost? Yeah. Team Funky lost? Funky. That was, that was amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys were super crazy awesome. We should definitely party together sometime. Right, Flint? That was a gutsy move, Shnee. I dig it. Good job, you two. Okay. Yeah. So wait, does that mean Yang is in the finals by herself? Uh-oh. Oh. What? Oh, nothing. We're just going to be making a slight... No! ...alteration to the plan. What does that mean? It means that this will be even easier than we thought. No! Hello? What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a <laughs> Oh, no. My chair will survive. My chair will survive. Oh. Oh, I did not see that one coming. Wow. Still recording? 
How many times have I said that? You know, he's making you look like a fool. His heart is in the right place. He's just misguided. Sometimes I'm not even sure he has a heart. Mm. So, have you chosen your guardian yet? Maidens choose themselves. I simply believe I found the right candidate. Ever since the day I met her, I had a feeling she would be the one. Mm. She's strong, intelligent, caring. But most importantly, she's ready. Whoa! Yo! <laughs> okay! Chapter 6, Fall. Well, it comes as no surprise that they've chosen you to move on to the final round of the tournament. Your performance has been exemplary. Thank you, Professor Ozpin, but I would never have made it this far without my teammates. Personally, I think it's the other way around. Wow. I'm sorry, but I don't believe we've been introduced. Name's Crow. Crow is a trusted colleague of mine. Professor, if you don't mind me asking, why have you called me here? Please, take a seat. Ah, what is your favorite fairy tale? I'm sorry? Fairy tales. Stories from your childhood. Surely you must remember some of them. Well, there's the tale of the two brothers, the shallow sea, the girl in the tower. What about the story of the seasons? Oh, of course. A callous old man who refuses to leave his home is visited by four traveling sisters. The first understands his reclusive nature and urges him to use his time and solitude to reflect and meditate. The second brings him fruits and flowers, tending to his crops and revitalizing his garden. The third warms the man's heart, convincing him to step outside and embrace the world around him. And the fourth and final sister begs him to look at all that he has and be thankful. Mm -hmm. In return for their kindness, the man grants the maidens incredible powers so that they may continue to help others all over the world. Mm -hmm. They graciously accept and promise to share their gifts with the people of Remnant until the end of days. Mm. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. The Four Maidens. My mother loves that story. Would you believe me if I told you that one's been around since I was a boy? <laughs> You're not that old, Professor. Well, would you believe me if I told you it was true? <laughs> I beg your pardon? What if I were to tell you that there were four maidens existing in this world that could wield such tremendous power? There are clocks all over the tower. I'm making a speculation right now. Can Ospin transcend time or have something to do with time? Oh my god! Without dust. You Wait, what? Power. There are four maidens existing in this world that could wield such tremendous power without dust. Hmm. You mean like a semblance? Like magic. I... Yeah, first time here and it's pretty crazy. You're serious? Do I look like I'm joking? Oh shit! No. Why? Why are you telling me this? We are telling you, Pira Nikos, because we believe that you are next in line to receive the Fall Maiden's powers. We? Glinda! Why did my resolution go to crap? Sorry we're late. Wait. What is this? Who are you? You know who we are. We're still the same teachers and headmasters you met when you arrived at Beacon. Except we've got a little part-time job. We are the protectors of this world, and we need your help. 
Wow! Wow! This is overwhelming her greatly. Ironwood, keep your eyes to yourself. Going? The vault under the school. Bro, my whole body just got goosebumps. I just spit everywhere. I need some chapstick. Oh, gosh. I'm sure you must have questions. Maybe one or two. Or all of them. I still don't understand. You said I was next in line to receive the Maiden's power. What do you mean by that? The Maidens have existed for thousands of years. But much like in nature, the seasons change. No two summers are alike. When a Maiden dies, her power leaves her body and seeks out a new host, ensuring that the seasons are never lost and that no individual can hold on to the power forever. So, how does the power choose? Through a series of stupid and convoluted rules. <laughs> Bro. Hey, don't get mad because I'm right. <laughs> At first, the only thing that was certain was that the powers were specifically passed on to young women. But as time went on, it was discovered that the selection process was much more intimate. Intimate? Mm -hmm. As we understand it now, when a maiden dies, the one who is in her final thoughts is the first candidate to inherit her power. Mm. Unless it's a dude or some old hag. Then the power goes to someone random, and our jobs get a lot harder. Why tell me all of this now? Oh. Why not wait until I've graduated? Honestly, we've run out of time. I don't know if you've noticed, but things are getting a lot scarier out in the world. Tensions are high. The Grim are growing stronger, more prevalent. And it's not gonna be much longer before this peace we've all been enjoying so much goes out the window. You're not talking about war. Not a war between nations. We can fill you in on the details once we know you're with us. For now, all you need to know is that one of the Maidens was attacked. And for the first time in history, part of her power was stolen. Whoa! What the? Is that? The current fall maiden, Amber. Oh gosh, she's still alive. For now, we're using state-of-the-art Atlas technology to keep her stable. But there is a lot about this situation that is unprecedented. What do you mean? Well, we don't know what will happen if, when she passes. Won't her power just transfer to the next host? Look who's been listening. Uh-oh. She is smart. Under normal circumstances, yes. But this is a delicate situation. It's not uncommon for the last thoughts of the slain to be of their attacker. And to make matters worse, no one's ever seen the power split like this before. For all we know, it will seek out its other half. Her assailant. <gasps> and that would not bode well for any of us. Right! So what, are you gonna wake her up and then have her talk to Pira? And that, they're gonna, oh gosh. If all of this is true, why keep it secret? If this girl is so important, if if we're truly on the brink of war, why not tell every- I got another question. Why is his sister, Winter? Is she a maiden? <laughs> Summer Rose? Uh... From what we understand, it used to be common knowledge. Excuse me? How do you think legends and fairy tales get started? Even the craziest ones come from somewhere. Our group was founded in order to protect both mankind and the Maidens. Those hungry for power hunted them with the hope of inheriting their strength. And as you can imagine, 
The ones that succeeded weren't exactly the kind of people you'd want to have unimaginable power. And so this Brotherhood chose to remove the Maidens from the public eye, allowing their existence to fade away into legend. The things we're telling you go against hundreds of years of human history. Religion. No one would want to believe us. It'd cause an uproar. It would cause panic. And we all know what that would bring clawing to our kingdom's walls. Mm-hmm. Which is why we would like to... I'll do it. If you believe this will help humanity, then I will become your fall maiden. Wow. Wow. That's what you wanted, isn't it? It is. But I'm afraid it's not that simple. Given Amber's condition, you won't be able to inherit her power naturally. However, General Ironwood believes he has a solution. For the past few years, Atlas has been studying Aura from a more scientific standpoint. Oh, shoot! Isn't that the reason Penny exists? She is the first artificial thing to have an aura or a soul or a semblance. So Ironwood knows how to basically artificially transfer the powers to Pyrrha. This is speculation. We, let, let me just shut up. How it works, what it's made of, how it can be used. We've made significant strides and we believe we found a way to capture it. Capture it and cram it into something else. Or in your case, that's classified. Wrong. The field. Wait. Is do it. Say it again. Strides, how it can be used. We've made significant strides, and we believe we found a way to capture it. Capture it and cram it into something else. Or in your case, that's classified. Wrong. The feeling is mutual. But desperate times call for desperate measures. And these are indeed desperate times. We can't transfer Amber's power to you, but we can give you what those powers are bound to. Her aura. Her life would become intertwined with yours. The question is, what's that gonna do to you? Huh? What? You have an important decision before you, Ms. Nikos. There's no guarantee this transfer will work. Oh, God! And there's no telling if you will be the same person if it does. I advise you to take time to think on this matter. She don't have time! Understand that before the Vital Festival is over, we will need your answer. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. The assailant that attacked the Fall Maiden has made their first move. And there's no telling when their next move will be. Oh gosh, don't tell me it's Cinder. Don't tell me. I mean, that seems a little too obvious. Oh. Why don't you explain the rules? Uh, it's quite simple, Peter. Instead of a bracket system, each round of the finals will be randomly determined immediately before the match takes I'm sorry, I didn't hear a word he said. What is... Oh, oh gosh. Oh, the chair, chair, please. Nice. Much like any good hunt, there will be zero time to prepare. Ah, yes, yes. Now let's see who our first match will be. Let me recollect. Oh God! Oh God! How long and Mercury Black? Make a Lexus! I get it. Where are you going? Where are you going? Would all other combatants please leave the stage? I need some water. I can't. They're hitting me with this bomb music. I'm. Oh God. You better not go easy on me. <laughs> you wish.
Oh, God. Three, two, one. Why does this happen? Wow! Wow! So, hear me out. There's two ways to look at this. I'm speculating, okay? Either that really did happen, meaning that Mercury did try to attack Yang, and she just reacted very quickly, and somehow they manipulated the footage, or maybe Yang envisioned Mercury trying to attack her, and then she actually did shoot him in the leg when he probably just walked up or something. That oh, I gotta just hold my chair. There's, there's, I'm talking gibberish. I think I'm gonna just end the episode now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video. I'll see y'all next Friday. Maybe even next Thursday for more World of Remnant. I don't. No matter how much it hurts, move forward. Keep that PMA. See y'all next week. What the hell?
hell just happened? <laughs> Waluigi number one.